Onions, staple ingredient in Filipino cuisine has become a symbol of rising inflation, cost of living there. Inflation hitting a 14 year high in the Philippines last month. President uh, Ferdinand Marcos Jr., also the agriculture secretary calling the rising food prices an emergency situation. Uh, the pricing is off the charts for a staple of, of cooking and food in the Philippines. Well, and it, this isn't just isolated to the Philippines. In, in the Philippines, it's about onions. Why? Because you've had the, the typhoons there that have wiped out crops. You've got the in, a global fuel crisis. You've got inflation. You've got all types of supply chain issues. So in onions have now become a luxury item in the Philippines. <laughs> Figure that right? one out. It's, it's, yeah. The price of onions is twelve point eight dollars sing do yeah, I think US dollars per yes. kilo, mm -hmm. which is three times the price of chicken. And so when you've got such a surge, people are going to be complaining, people are going to be smuggling. Look, you've got the same thing happening to, to a lesser degree in the United States when it comes to eggs, because you've got the an avian flu crisis in the US and you've got inflation and you've got supply chain issues and you've got uh, fuel costs. So now eggs are being smuggled from Mexico into the United States. Onions are being smuggled from Thailand into the Philippines. And it's a real issue for governments and they're going to have to address it, but it's, there's not one simple solution. Right, because it's climate change mm -hmm. and it's the pandemic and it's the Russian invasion of Ukraine. And we talked about this a few months ago, I think, where there's this word polycrisis, yes. remember? And so you've yeah. got these individual crises, you know, pandemic, war, climate. And when they all bump up against one another, onions become a luxury good. That's what's happened. Yeah, which I subsequently wrote a column about. I stole the word polycrisis, so thank you for that, Steve. I stole it first. Yeah, yeah I know. Don't worry. We're all stealers. The, right. the great artists steal. Speaking of great artists stealing, Vladimir Lenin said, didn't he, of course, famously, we're only ever, any society is only three meals, missed meals away from chaos. Yeah. We're going to see more of this, aren't we? As we move away from globalization, we try to move towards greater self-sufficiency. You're seeing it here in Singapore. As you said, quite rightly, the pandemic was a wake up call. So was Ukraine. Are we going to see more of these food crises moving forward? You know, I mean, food riots can get to be a Absolutely. real issue. It's going to lead to migration crisis, which is going to lead to you know even greater uh, nationalism and populism that we see. Like the Philippines is a is a food insecure country. It can become more secure, but that is going to be an issue for that government. They're going to have to focus on it. Like the U.S. is focusing on, you know, electric vehicles and semiconductors. The Philippines is going to focus on onions. Singapore is focusing on chickens. That's, you know, where where the world is headed. You know? Chicken in every pot, I think, was the famous election campaign slogan in uh, 19 something something early in the. And now it's century. onions. In the and now it's 2023. It's onions yeah. in a pot. That's See, where we are. The Glenn, it was it was Huey Long, Huey Long. in Louisiana in the 1930s. There we go. I Thanks. did that without Google, by the way. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> All right, Steve. Thanks so much, as always. And uh, we'll, um, we'll come back and revisit as we can and will in future, uh, future sessions. For now, that's it for our international news review. Thanks, Steve. Next week.